Hey guys, welcome back to Think Making. I'm Anton, and today I'll be reviewing this amazing filament. It's Maker Flex by Maker Geeks, so let's get to it. Maker Geeks is a US based company that makes really affordable filament. As you may have guessed by the name, this is a flexible filament which turned out to be very useful in many applications. And how flexible? Well, that really depends on your settings and the print's geometry, but I'll get deeper into that in a minute. But for now, know that it's an alternative to something in between NinjaFlex and TPU. The flexibility of this filament makes it great for shock absorption and shape retention, even after a lot of flexing. Remember throughout the review that Maker Geek's filaments aim to be affordable. This is why, instead of being individually boxed, their filaments just come inside a vacuum sealed, resealable bag, which is awesome because it eliminates the need to buy Ziploc bags. In regards to the spool itself, again, it's very basic. It has a small label indicating the material and recommended print temperature. It's also pitch black so there's no way of knowing when you're running out of filament. Also, it has only one spot to hold the filament, which is never enough, but can be fixed by drilling the holes yourself. This is not the best winding I've seen either, but it never became a problem. The filament itself is very smooth and has a very consistent diameter. As you can see, it's very flexible and can even stretch, but stretching messes it up. Here's a comparison between MakerFlex and TPU. Sure, this filament is flexible, but at half the price of NinjaFlex, I wanted to know how well it prints. So I went ahead and tested its printing properties. As usual, I printed a calibration cube, a 3D Benchy, and a Marvin, along with other designs I considered would be benefited by this filament. Using an E3D V6 at a 0.2 layer height, I found 210 degrees to be a great printing temperature, and hairspray on glass along with a heated bed at 60 degrees, great for bed adhesion. Yet this may vary for you. What's more important though is that this filament should be printed at very slow speeds, or it will jam your extruder. 30 mils per second did the trick for me. And wow guys, this filament blew my expectations. The calibration cube looked amazing, with smooth sides, perfect corners, and letters. The same goes to the Marvin, although it did have some inconsistencies in the overhangs, but that could be my printer. I also tried brim on it, but layer adhesion is so strong, you're better off using skirts. This means that removing support material might also get quite hard. As for the 3D benching, well, here is where it got tricky for me. My extruder didn't play well with retraction and this filament. It jammed up unless I turned it off. This is why the benchy has a lot of stringing. That said, the bottom is actually very smooth and turned out to be very good at bridging. Now remember I told you the flexibility of a print would differ based on its geometry and settings. Well, here's an example. I printed this single walled vase and this octopus. The vase is super soft and flimsy, while the octopus is quite firm. For a more apples to apples comparison, I printed three of these cute octopuses with different infill percentage. Notice how much stiffer it is the more infill it has. For even more practical applications, check out this custom case I made for my phone, although it's already more than broken. <laughs> or have you ever seen those airless military grade tires? Well, you can recreate that same thing with this filament. Now imagine you're making a drone frame which is both flexible and crash resistant. I mean, there are so many possible applications for these material. And if you get your settings right, especially if you get retraction to work, you're gonna get amazing results with this filament. If you want to try this filament for yourself, use this code to get 10% off and free shipping inside the US when buying at Maker Geek's website, which I will link down in the description along with all the models I used in this video. Well guys, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, feel free to support my channel through Patreon or by buying a cool t-shirt like this one in my merch store. If not, liking and subscribing would also make my day. You might also want to check out that video. Well guys, thanks for watching and see you in the next one.